Hello again guys, ready for Alexander coming at you with part two of the Skype basics video. And just to show you right quick how you can access Skype, we will go down here. And you can see right here this little button to access your main Skype window, just double click right there. And it brings your window back in. So what we had talked about the notifications and the file tab. The account tab I use very rarely. You can view your account, do some Skype credit, some other things in there. Call tab you'll use. You can see right here the Costa, who's done a lot of work on the the back end of the website to make Tagzilla beautiful. He is the currently highlighted contact. He's offline. I could click here and call to Costa or I could start a conference call from this tab. Also I can look at the recent calls that I've made which is very handy. Chats tab here I can start a chat with Costa since again he is the highlighted contact. could start a group chat, a public chat. Also again very useful recent chats. Good little trick if you lose a chat and you're like oh damn I can't believe I lost the the chat there you can view your history bookmark chats are the same way any chats that you bookmark you can easily pull those back up and get them back so it's very handy little lists the view tab I don't really use much but you can modify what things show in your main Skype window go into compact mode you can play around with that if you like tools tab right here add a contact that's going to be very important I'll take you through right quick my own is Austin Rebel and we will hit the find key there and as you can see it shows my information and obviously I can't add myself but if this were another contact I would just hit add Skype contact there so go ahead and close that out and you can also do from the tools tab you can do another search for Skype users based on name and other information call forwarding and voicemail I haven't used much there um, there's a games feature I'll bring the screen back in here play some games on here with different users language uh, the options file we had already looked at in video number one as you can see it's the same options that came up when we clicked on privacy under file so you've already seen those I'll cancel out of that now I want to take you through chatting as you can see here I'll bring the screen down uh, Costa is my highlighted contact so I can just click on this little blue icon and it brings up a chat window and then of course I can type something in here hey Costa and that would show the the activity there and it could be off to the races chatting away with any contacts that you might choose also next I'll take you through a sample call okay so for the sample call none of the volunteers I had are online right now so basically all you do is as you can see click on this green icon a call would start and then of course this screen pops up and right in here once he would answer then you click on this to end the call or from this screen I'll show you down here see it's still connecting because he is offline you just click right here and this red one is the the end call button so I click on that and that would end the call so if you're ever in a call you can use this button this button right here when you're in your main screen this one makes calls to the currently highlighted person when you're in the chat I could call him here and then once we connect I could end it right here as well so that is how you do a sample chat and a sample call.
couple of other quick things to talk about on your road to a Skype advanced user. Right here, let's see if move it up here on our contacts. You can see this got Camilla highlighted here. And there's this menu button, which I haven't yet taken you through. And as you can see, I could start a call from the menu, start a chat, send her a file from right in here. Here's the games tab that we that we saw before. I don't know if you can see that partially. It's games over there. Could view the profile. We could also rename. And so that's what I'll take you through right here. Camilla kind of rhymes with Cruella. That's more fitting, so we will put that in there. And now you can see that I changed the name that shows on here. That's a little shot across her bow, a point for me. We have a friendly and sometimes less than friendly feud going. Sometimes it's fun, sometimes it's more Hatfields and McCoys style. So that is the rename feature that you can use. And it, of course, will only rename it on your screen. It won't affect her screen or anyone else's. So you don't have that much power. There's a send money, which will be important for you watching this video. You'll want the joy of sending me all your dollars. Uh, there's a speed dial function, and then there's a few other things that you can use. Most of this functionality is also available in your chat window. You can right up here you can add people to the chat to make it more of a, a conference chat room very useful for you when you're working with your teams and needing to talk over things with your teams you can send a file again the send money button the games feature right in here options you can set set a topic we'll do that right quick uh, important top secret mm -hmm. So now you can see that's what shows up there. And then if we wanted to set picture, click on that. And we currently got the angel one, so move over here to this beach one. And you can see the picture changed. And there's a few other options, participants, notification settings. The other cool thing here is bookmark. As you can see, it's checked. I've already bookmarked this chat. And then I can see, see a list of the chats that I've bookmarked. So that takes you through the Skype functionality. You should be pretty much an advanced user at this point, and I will look forward to seeing you on future videos on Tagzilla. Until next time, you guys have a great day.